Okay, Lady Gaga. Okay, Lady Gaga. Welcome back to the Kyrie Show. And this week, people, I'm going to be reviewing House of Gucci. So get your best designer fits ready and let's get it. All right, people, so House of Gucci, we got some heavy hitters starting in this movie. We got Lady Gaga, Al Pacino, Jeremy Irons. We got Adam Driver and Jared Leto, and it's directed by Ridley Scott. And basically, the premise of this movie is basically we see the the, the rise and fall of the Gucci's. This is a family-based business with father and brother and their two kids, and then we have an outsider who is married into the Gucci, um, and that's played by Lady Gaga. She plays um, Patrizia uh, Gucci. She's originally Patrizia Reggiani. And excuse me for messing up these names because the Gucci's are Italian, so everybody was speaking in Italian accents and trying to speak in heavy Italian accents. So excuse me if I mess up the names. But yeah, she's married into the family, and once she gets married into the family... There's some stuff that takes place that she wants to make sure everything is going according to plan. And she wants to protect her husband, who is Adam Driver, who plays Maurizio, Maurizio um, Gucci. Excuse me if I messed that name up. And that's all I'm going to say for the premise of the movie, because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. So let's get straight into it. First up, let me start off by saying Lady Gaga did an amazing job in this movie. I was actually shocked on how well she acted. I heard good things about her in that other movie. I think it's called Star is Born, if I'm not mistaken. I never seen the movie, but I heard good things about it. And when I saw the trailer for this movie, I was like, okay, Lady Gaga looked like she's doing her thing. House of Gucci. Uh, this sounds like an interesting movie. Let me check it out. And I checked it out and she did a phenomenal job. First off, everybody did a good job. The acting was on point. Story was good. Script, well written. Cinematography, everything was good. Even the music. Um, They had some classic 80s little joints up in there, 70s. I was digging it. I will say this though, people. The movie is two hours and 40 minutes. So there are some slow slow burn parts in the movie. So there's parts that drag a little bit. I was still entertained and intrigued. Once the, once the lying and the deceit and the portrayals started taking place, I was more in tune into the movie. But there are parts in the beginning going into the second act where it drags just a little bit. But I was still intrigued because the story was, was a very, very interesting story. Um, cause like I said, there's some betrayals and, and there's a lot of lying and stuff going on. And it makes you wonder that if you was in a family business, would you choose family over money? That's probably like the biggest question everybody asks themselves. And it's just very interesting to see how stuff played out within the Gucci's. There's a lot of information that I did not know, but I can't go into details because I don't want to ruin it, ruin it for you guys. This is a spoiler free review. And I just, I just think this movie is well made and is definitely going to get nominated in multiple categories with the Oscars. I see this movie getting nominated for multiple categories. It was, it was a well made movie. Ridley Scott did his thing on this movie, and I highly recommend checking this movie out. It's definitely worth seeing in regular admission. Um, but if you got to see it during matinee, not mad at you. But yeah, man, just to know some of the stuff that they talked about this movie and, the, and to learn the history. Um, for example, there's a designer, I'm not going to say the designer's name, but it was interesting to see that this designer started out under Gucci. So the designer that we know today and we hear that name, I didn't know that they started out first with Gucci. So there's probably a bunch of other designers that they have a big name now, but back then when they were first starting out, like were Versace and Chanel and all the other big heavy hitters from back then, they would probably work for them just like how this designer, when they, and when the designer's name was mentioned in the movie, I was like, wow, oh shoot, this person started out with Gucci first before they branched out because I only know that designer for their clothing line, like within now, this modern era now. 
I didn't know that this person started out with Gucci back in the 80s or, or the very, very, very early 90s, like 1990. I didn't know that. I thought I only know this designer for being, you know, on their own branched out. So it was very interesting to see that aspect. And it made me think like, wow, there's probably other big designers that we know today that probably started out, like I said, with Versace. Versace, Armani, Chanel, all these other big heavy hitters from back then. So it was very interesting to see that aspect of the movie. But yes, people, definitely go check it out. So you know the drill. Oh, before I do that, on the Kaiba scale of 1 to 10, um, I'm going to give this movie a solid 8.5. Was there parts of the movie that dragged? Yes. But other than that, I was very intrigued. The movie was very interesting to watch. And... On the Kyber scale, I'm going to give it a solid 8.5. So, you guys know the drill. If you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. After doing that, hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. And please leave a comment at the bottom. Hit that like button. Let me know what you guys thought of House of Gucci. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.